Roaches crawling on croutons. Oh, yeah. I'd say that's a serious health code violation, wouldn't you? And that Bay Area Applebee's isn't the only one having issues in the kitchen. You know the drill by now. 10 News reporter Bo Zimmer has everything you need to know before you go out to eat in this week's restaurant. Red Alert. Can you give us about a week when they come back? That was the response we got at the end of June when we asked to see the kitchen inside Palmetto Sea Hut restaurant just south of the Skyway Bridge. Management insisted the kitchen was cleaned up after their second emergency closure since May. So the customers who are eating here today, they... they it's, it's clean. What about all the rodent droppings and some of the larva that was found in the refrigerator? It's been taken care of. But there's a reason for our skepticism. Sea Hut was temporarily shut down for the third month in a row. The establishment racked up 24 new violations July 10th. Small flying insects on the cook line and near the walk-in freezer. Temperature abuse on the cooked ribs, shrimp, lobster, and shredded cheese, along with rodent droppings all around the dish machine. Have things been cleaned up? I'm going to stuff with yeah. Restaurant staff again had little to say about all the problems. The last time I was here, oh, everything's cleaned up, and now, you know, last week it was shut down again. Uh, you guys can leave before I pull the top. It was a similar response up in Pinellas at the checkers on Almerton Road in Clearwater. We were just trying to find out what was done to get some of those problems okay. corrected. Unfortunately, I'm not the person that can speak on that. You okay. have to call our meter relations team at that number. Last week, the health inspector reported finding dead roaches in the kitchen around the ice machine in hot water. Water heater. Former customer Shante Lawson says she's not surprised. When they was handing me my food, I seen like a roach like crawling. I told my boyfriend like, babe, I seen a roach. I don't think I'm eat there no more. But roaches weren't the only problem. The state also reporting moldy hamburger buns and water leaking from the ceiling in seven spots throughout the kitchen. The water leaking directly onto tomatoes and other toppings for hamburgers. I think it's very unsanitary. And finally to Pinellas Park and the Applebee's on Park Boulevard. Hey guys, we can't have any cameras in here. The state shut this place down July 11th with small flying insects swarming in the kitchen, live roaches in the dishwashing area, and even roaches crawling around on the croutons for salads. Hearing about issues like that, is that a concern at all? Yeah, I'm not ordering a salad. All three restaurants have since been cleared to reopen, but without the chance to see inside the kitchen, many of their customers may not be back. Would you give this place a second chance? Will no. You? Why I not? Wouldn't. OK, now we did hear back from Applebee's home office. They sent us a written statement saying in part the health and safety of our guests and team members remains a top priority. We fully cooperated with the health department. Uh, they did not talk about the croutons and the roaches crawling around. You love they did, they did throw those out, by the way. You love that oriental chicken salad. You're going to keep ordering that now? But or? th that's the thing. They don't have the croutons. Oh, OK. There. There's the key for right. both there. No what about the other two restaurants? I know Sea Hut and, and also um, yeah, the other restaurants. I was actually pretty, pretty surprised. We did not hear back from Checkers. This is not the first time yeah. we featured one of their restaurants, but they did not call us back. And as for the other restaurant, Sea Hut, uh, I talked with the owner after our last visit. He said he simply has trouble finding qualified people to run his kitchen. But I can't tell you, there are new managers inside that kitchen tonight. And you want that manager hiding behind a wall? Yes. as well when he, he brought those cameras he in. He didn't want to talk about but, it. But of course, this is all to keep those restaurants clean. And Bo, we appreciate you tracking all of that for us, of course. And we have posted those inspection resorts for all three, I should say, reports for all three of those restaurants on our website. You can see them at WTSP.com slash red alert.